Now to an update from the state education department. Officials say four schools in West Maui were impacted by the fires. We want to send it over now to our Mahealani Richardson. She was listening in to a press conference with the school superintendent. Mahael, what can you tell us? Well, Ash, I can tell you that the school superintendent, Keith Hayashi, made an announcement early this morning at a BOE meeting. It was not on the agenda, but he specifically talked about four schools, as you mentioned, impacted by those fires in West Maui. And he said that those four schools uh, contain three thousand students and 300 faculty members and staff so clearly a widespread impact now we had an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with mr hayashi after that meeting and he said that the doe is preparing for the possible loss of an elementary school and that elementary school is king kamehameha the third elementary and that it appears to have sustained severe damage because of those wildfires now we told uh, the superintendent that that, that indeed is correct because our very own Chelsea Davis from Maui is there and she went on a tour yesterday of Lahaina and was walking and reporting in front of that school herself. King Kamehameha III Elementary, according to her report, was destroyed. You could see the blackened building. Uh, there really was nothing left. Truly a tragedy for that elementary school. Now, Mr. Hayashi also told us about three other elementary schools in the West Maui area that are also impacted, and that's Princess Nahiena Elementary, Lahaina Intermediate, and Lahaina Luna High. He said that the assessments, the official assessments of these four schools still has not been made, but is being done today we told him that Chelsea Davis could not access, could not drive to those three other schools because the roads were blocked by debris. Now he said that beyond the physical impact to the schools, he's really concerned about the students, their faculty, and their family members. He's concerned about their well-being, and that is his number one priority. We also asked him about the emotional toll, and for him, it clearly struck him. Here's what he had to say in that interview. And I know, uh, Superintendent, you really care about families. Why is this so difficult for you personally? Um, so yeah, it's not, sorry, yeah. He asked me a question. You know, um, within our schools, um, all of us care so deeply about our students and our families. Um, and the challenge is that um, many families and students already face. You know, and um, the situation that they're in now, um, our hearts go out to all of them. And uh, we want to really be sure that we can do what's right um, to, to support all of them. So I think that's really important. I, I think it's what is, um, uh, what is f for me, um, we're really fortunate that there's been a, a principals and conflict service superintendents and community and have been calling um, you know our office as well as I, I, I mean, touch with some of the principals there and contacting them offering support you know and it, it's in Hawaii you know in Hawaii that's this part of who we are and supporting each other and supporting communities tell them that we're the our DOE Ohana is here for them and um, whether whatever they need uh, we'll do our best to help to support them um, they haven't had opportunities to to um, assess anything there either yet, uh, so they're concerned um, about their schools, about their students and their families. You know, I'm talking about the administrators at the school, but they themselves have experienced loss. You know, so they're I know trying to balance that personal loss with having to take care of everyone in their community. You know, and it's a heavy burden for any one person to hold. So. I just want, know, I want them to know that we're all here to support them. Now back here live, clearly the deep personal impact is being, is being felt uh, by so many people. Now Keith Ayashi said that his assistant superintendent, Randall Tanaka, who is uh, in charge of facilities and operations, is with Governor, Governor Green right now doing a tour of these devastated areas, and that's where the official assessment will come in. Now as po for all public schools on Maui, again, they are closed except for Hana until Friday. Ash, back to you.
Mahia, did uh, the superintendent say, uh, you, you mentioned that schools are closed until Friday. Uh, these students who are impacted because they no longer have a campus to go back to or maybe damage, uh, what will happen to them? Well, that's a good question asked, and I asked that exact question. And at this point, uh, it's clear that for 3,000 students of West Maui, they they may not have a place to go to. And so at this point, that's why they need to do the official assessment of these four impacted schools to find out what the situation is, and then they can deal with it after that. Uh, but at this point, um, they still need to have that official assessment. Again, it's being done by Randall Tanaka, who is with Governor Green. Also, a couple of other schools that are impacted because of those wildfires on Maui, King Kekalike High in Pukalani, that was dealing with some minor wind damage damage because of those high winds on Maui and uh, the superintendent said that he was talking to the teachers there at that school and they said that the school is just full of dust and soot because of the fires and also Maui High is being used as a shelter in Kahului so uh, it, it's really interesting to see the situation because the information is still coming in I do have to say that the superintendent praised our Chelsea Davis for her excellent coverage and reporting. You know, she has been our eyes and ears on the ground before these official assessments. And he said that the, her reporting was excellent, um, but still the official assessment needs to come in. Also, um, we know that President Biden has made an emergency declaration. I also asked the superintendent, uh, what does that mean for the schools in terms of damage and getting resources in the millions or perhaps even billions of dollars? And he said that that remains to be seen. But clearly this disaster has impacted him, all levels of government, and many in the community. Ash. Absolutely. Our Mahia Lani Richardson reporting for us this afternoon. Thank you, Mahia. And again, we want to remind you guys that there will be a press conference coming up at 3.30 this afternoon with the governor and Mayor Bisson on Maui. Uh, and hopefully we will learn more information about the schools at that time, but we're not sure what they're going to say. So please tune in. We will bring it to you live. Now, for more on that disaster declaration that Mahia just mentioned, here's President Biden.